Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today we're doing another one of the Vintage EQ Collection comparison videos in Logic Pro 10. In this video, we're going to be putting the Vintage Console EQ up against the Waves Sheps 73 plugin. Now, both of these plugins emulate uh, the classic Neve 1073 EQ in the 1073 console. And again, the Vintage Console EQ is one of the three new classic uh, Vintage EQs that are included with uh, Logic Pro 10.4, the latest update. They're pretty similar, but they're, they also have some differences. Logic's Vintage Console EQ, one uh, big, uh, cool, like a good point about it is that the uh, frequency of the mid and low bands here, the low shelf and the uh, the mid band are variable as opposed to being fixed. Whereas in the Waves uh, plugin, it emulates uh, the classic hardware where you can only select um, a specific frequency band uh, to work with. So, for example, on my mid band here, I'm using 0.7 hertz or 700 hertz or 0.7 kilohertz rather, or 700 hertz. And here I can sweep it around the whole spectrum. So, uh, I am going to put this on 0.7 though, just for uh, for comparison. Um, so you've got your high uh, high shelf, a low shelf, a low cut if you choose to pull it in. Um, you can pull each band in or out here on the Vintage Console EQ. You can pull each band in or out here on the Shep 73. Um, what I've also uh, tried to do best I can is make sure that I pull down the output volume on these to match the loudness, um, not only with between the plugins, but also match the output loudness um, after I add the EQ and match that loudness back to the original dry signal. Um, one thing I've done, and I'm not 100% certain about this, but on the Shep 73, I've also matched the drive option. Um, so this is roughly, yeah, but, uh, four drive, 40% drive. This I've also set to 40% drive. Now here's the thing. I don't know whether or not having the preamp uh, button in or out actually affects the drive. Now, I know it affects the drive because when you kick in the preamp, it's heavily distorted, not just slight saturation, like heavy distortion. So on all of these examples for the Shep 73, I've kicked out the preamp option, but pulled the drive up to match that of Logics. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, I've got uh, four different examples. The main things I always use uh, 1073s for is vocals and guitar. So I have two guitar examples, one vocal example, and I'm uh, first actually going to demonstrate just uh, what it sounds like on an entire uh, mix. So I have a, a rough mix back here of a cover uh, song I'm working on. You may recognize it. It's from the 80s. Um, and it's just a rough mix. There's no ma uh, no nothing on the master output. Um, so let's give this a shot. I'm going to play it uh, a little bit dry, and then I'm going to kick in the vintage console and go back and forth between this and the Sheps so you can hear the difference. Gypsy, sitting looking pretty, the broken rose with laughing eyes. You're a mystery, always running wild, like a child. So sorry for the really long example. I just really wanted that to, to settle in. Um, I really like how the Vintage Console EQ treats the highs a little more aggressively than the 73 does, at least on, on a master like this. Um, although I feel like the Shep 73 has got a little bit more like round, uh, rounder bass sound. Um, so I'm liking the way it's treating the bass better. If I could uh, take the bass from the Sheps and the high end and mid range boost from the Vintage Console EQ and merge those together, that would be uh, really cool. So again, I don't dislike either of them. They both sound good to me, just pointing out the differences and the similarities. Next, let's go over to vocals here. I have just a very short uh, vocal uh, example here. This is what it sounds like dry. Ooh, I 
I don't need you anymore to tell me that you hold the key to my heart. I don't need that anymore. All right, so let's try this the same way. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come in dry, and then I'm gonna kick in the vintage console EQ, and then I'll kick in the Shep 73. Again, I've matched all the settings, matched the drive setting, and also uh, done my best to also match the loudness. So let's give this a shot. Ooh, I don't need you anymore to tell me that you hold the key to my heart. I don't need that anymore. Ooh, I don't need you anymore to tell me that you hold the key to my heart. I don't need that anymore. Ooh, I don't need you anymore to tell me that you hold the key to my heart. I don't need that anymore. Now, in this example, um, I, I'm actually liking the Sheps a, a bit better. It's got more of a silky, smooth sort of tone to it, um, whereas the Vintage Console EQ, I mean, it might work for like pop vocals that you need a lot of sibilance and a lot of high end, um, but I'm really feeling the Sheps 73 better on vocals here. It's just a little more silky. It's a little more smooth. It's a little less aggressive with the highs, kind of like we heard um, in the last example. And again, uh, just I, I didn't mention this before, but... Uh, just ignore any pops or clicks you're hearing. It's just it takes a second or two for the for uh, each module to fully kick in uh, and readjust its delay compensation. So so that's it on vocals. Um, one thing I really love 1073 on is guitar. I have two examples. One that's a sort of a heavy crunch example, and then one that's sort of like a light crunch cleanish example. So what I'm trying to do here is is give uh, give the guitar a lift and give it some some more heft. So. Do the same thing, I'll, I'll start with just the dry signal, then go back and forth. I like the the brightness boost that it both that both of them are giving it, but the low end sort of suffers a little bit, um, and it suffers a bit more, in my opinion, with the Shep seventy three than it does with the uh, console EQ. The console EQ, um, it's both of them are a, a bit raspy, and it may just be the guitar setting, or it may just be the the, the plug in setting. I meant to go and maybe tweak that, but. Um, I like the low end better on this with the console EQ, and I'm not really sure why, because it seemed before like the low end in the Sheps uh, was better. Let's try this on another guitar example, something that's not so overdriven. This is sort of like, a, it's definitely not clean. It's uh, It's got a slight crunch to it, um, but let's see what this can do on sort of like a slight crunch guitar. So same thing, dry, then I'll go back and forth between the two. Yeah, I'm liking the Vintage Console EQ better here. It's preserving, like we're getting the lows out of the way, especially with this uh, 80 hertz uh, low cut that we're adding, because it's it's a little boomy in the original recording. But I don't want the bass to be completely gone, and I feel like the Vintage Console EQ is doing a better job of preserving the bass but while still cutting uh, the bass. The Sheps is sounding a little thin a little thin to me. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Just uh, the best AB comparison I can give you between the Vintage Console EQ and the Waves Sheps 73 EQ. Both great EQs. 
Um, I can't really say that I like one definitively more than the other for all examples and all occasions, but they're both great plugins, and the Vintage uh, Console EQ is definitely a great addition to have in Logic 10.4 for no extra money. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.